Hey guys, Tim McCamus back in the shop this evening. Well, we're smack dab in the middle of this uh, quarantine stay at home bullshit. So uh, it's a good time for you to get your fat ass off the couch and go out in the shop and look at this race car that's sitting there because I know you guys aren't working on it. So uh, it's a race car. There's always something that needs to be done on it. So why don't you check it out, look it over, see some things that could be improved and maybe when the season gets fired back up, you'll be all set to go. One thing I want to talk to you about, and this is something I, I want you to look at on your current car, is fire bottles and, and fire safety. So we've, get, we've done a lot of videos on this, on different things that pertain to this and just different service items and stuff. So this is one of the most very, it's, it's a very common actuating cable for the fire system. Most of these fire systems are pulled to activate, so you have to pull this cable to uh, set things in motion. So the way this system works is you can have one of these cables hooked to, let's say you got a 20 pound system, you got two 10 pound bottles in the car. You can have one cable hooked to a master bottle, and then when you actuate that, that will use pressure from that bottle to fire the other bottle so that you've got the full 20 pounds of fire system flowing through the quarter inch line. Okay, so you could have one or two of these cables. Like I said, this is a standard piece that comes with almost every kit, and it doesn't matter who the manufacturer is, they're all of about the same quality, which is shit, okay? These are not that great of cables. I mean, they're, they don't have any kind of lining in them, so they've just got this small wire that uh, is going to go under the head of that bottle that's going to pierce that seal in there. So this wire Basically what's going to happen is there's a spring-loaded piercing rod in the top of that head and this wire is going to go under that so the spring load on top of it is going to hold this back and when you zip this out of the way, that spring is going to push that point down and poke that seal which is going to release the pressurized fire retardant out of the bottle. Okay. So then like I said, if you do have one cable, it's going to, it's going to start the other bottle in motion too so that you get the full 20 pounds of system flowing. So, like I said, these, <clears throat> these cables aren't, they're not great, but it's, it's the only thing you can use because the only thing that fits in there. I would say probably most of you have not ever had to set your fire system off. You've never had to use this. So hopefully you never have to, but I'm going to say the, the, the majority of you have never used this system. So these things set in the cars and, and humidity and things changing. And we, we've got another really good video on just servicing these cables which is pulling this out and uh, scotch brighting this wire down and lubing this back up so that it moves nice and free. Because, you know, right now, even here, it, it moves fairly free, even though it's coiled up like this, but it doesn't have any spring load on this, okay? So there's no tension on it dragging it. It's just floating through this coiled cable. So if I were to stretch this out straight, it would be real easy to slide in there. But once you pinch it under that spring tension, it becomes a lot harder to move. So this doesn't, this is not, that easy to slide out, especially if you have two of them. One of the things that we've always been adamant about is the placement of this, okay? You know, a lot of these so-called name chassis builder guys, you know, they put this in a place that, in my opinion, is absurd. For instance, this, this is a pull cable and this is meant to be pulled, okay? So it's meant to hook your fingers in here and pull it back out to actuate it. All right. I. I never did like this small of a handle and trying to find it and pull on it. So we, we've always used um, handles like this mounted on the chassis. So you can see this uh, display chassis right here has got one up on the funny car cage. So we used two locations. This is, was our original location right up here on the uh, front tube of the funny car cage. So you can slide your hand up and slide it right behind there and push it forward and actuate these so you got leverage you know you got a lot of leverage on this handle because your pivot and your mounting points for the cables are going to be right here after that i moved it down onto the double frame rail because i i've been in these cars a lot and i've been, I made a lot of runs and like a lot of you guys i never had to set my fire system off okay so i was fortunate enough that i didn't have a bad enough issue that the car was on fire and i needed to use this but my second location was to move it over on the double frame rail to your right so that, because I, I felt this was even a little close here on the funny car cage, because, you know, 
you're not sitting in the car in shorts and a t-shirt, you know, you got this big thick fire suit on, you're strapped in, you got your helmet on, you got this head and neck restraint on, I mean, you're restricted in there. You're like, if you got a nice seat in this car, like a race tech or a Momo seat, you're sucked in there. I mean, you are like stuck in place. It ain't, you can't look around and find shit, okay? So we always put this easy to get to, and that, that's why I moved it, because I thought this was a little tight, especially for bigger drivers, wider shoulders. You know, for me, I'm a little bit smaller, I had more room, but if you're big and broad in the shoulders, you know, you start getting this to be a little tight. So I moved it over here on the double frame rail, where it was just, you didn't have to think about it. You need the fire system, you just lay your hand over on the double frame rail, push it forward, and you're gonna hit this handle. You're just gonna smack it forward and pull these two cables, or one cable, whichever system you've got, and set that fire system up. So I look at these other cars and I see a lot of these things that, that are mounted like they're, they're put out of the way. They're like, it's like, okay, we need to get this thing out of the way because we're working on the car, we don't want it in our way. So they put it in the most obscure way in the place that, that I, I don't even understand it. I, I absolutely would cut it out of the car and, and move it because, and that's what I want you guys to do now. While you got this break, I want you to go out there and look and see where this is at. I want you to get in the car, put your fire suit on, strap in, put the helmet on, put your hand on the wheel, and close your eyes and try to find this thing, okay? A lot of them are mounted over here, okay? On So like we got a, your funny car cage tube comes around here. This thing's mounted over here, all right? So a couple things that are fucked up about that. Number one, you gotta find it, okay? Now, when you need it, shit ain't going good, okay? I mean, shit's on fire, windows are melting out, the car's full of smoke, it's full of black smoke because the Lexan's burning and, and you're still moving, you might be upside down, you might be rolling, you might be doing a lot. It's a bad situation when you need to use this, okay? It ain't, you ain't sitting there with a Slurpee looking around and trying to find this thing, okay? There's a lot of bad shit going on. So you've then got to find this thing, all right? Now, this little red piece of shit here is over here kind of to your right and back here. You've got to then kind of hook it like this, and now, unnaturally, you have to pull it forward like this. Ain't the way these are supposed to be used, okay? This is supposed to be pulled towards you wherever you're at, so it needs to be here where you can pull it, and not over here where you've got to go on some kind of scavenger hunt to find this thing, okay? So if this son of a bitch is mounted over here or up here or up in the roof or some bullshit, Number one, get in that car, put all that shit on, strap yourself in, close your eyes, and try to find it, okay? That's, that's, that's even gonna be simple. Now, think about yourself crashing past the finish line, or you blow up an engine in the lights, and the thing's on fire, it's, burn, it's, it's burning the windshield out of it, car's full of smoke, you're trying to find the parachutes, and you're trying to find this little red plastic handle, okay? Ain't, that ain't the time to be trying to figure out where this is at and trying to get your ass around here like this and trying to pull it forward. So I'm gonna tell you while you got this break, figure out where this is at because practice finding it, know where it's at. And if it's in a jacked up spot, move it, okay? These cables are raw on the end. They come, this is a six footer here, they come in 10 and 15 foot lengths. They're, they're cheap, so it requires a tab here to mount it, all right? It's nothing to do. So. If yours is in a fucked up spot, move it, okay? Find your buddy that knows how to TIG weld or something. Don't even take the other tab off. Just get a cable, call us. We got 15 foot cables in stock. Move this somewhere where you can get at it and then practice know, knowing where it's at, okay? Know where it's at when you get in that situation because I'm telling you, it ain't sitting in a lawn chair and you reach over and try to find this handle when your shit's on fire, okay? You're gonna be number one, you're in the car already making a run, your adrenaline's jacked up, you're on fire, you might be sliding in oil, okay? You're in panic mode, and now the cockpit is full of black smoke and fire. Shit's getting hot. Hopefully you got your face shield down. If you don't, you're an idiot, okay? Put your face shield down. Hopefully that you have a fresh air system in the car, okay? Any of you guys that are running these cars, I don't care what class it is, I think you should have fresh air system in every car, okay? That's the small bottle over here to the side that puts uh, breathable air in your helmet. When these things start burning and they get hot fast, I mean, you guys are running either methanol or, or super high octane race gas, that stuff, 
it, it gets really hot and really fast, okay? So you don't have time to figure out what's going to happen now, okay? You need to know in advance what, what, what's going what's to go on and where this is at. So you got some time, all right? We're not going to be on the racetrack here for a while, okay? It could be eight weeks. It could be longer. I mean, nobody knows, okay? But it's going to be enough time for you guys to get something like this fixed. And if yours is mounted in a good spot, you still need to practice where it's at because it's one of those things that everybody overlooks and when it's come time to use it, you're not prepared, okay? Being prepared for situations like this makes the difference between you walking away from the car, getting that fire system deployed and getting, getting that, that thing squished out. A lot of times these fire systems won't put the fire out, but they give you that little bit of time to cool things down and quench the fire so that you can get the car stopped and hopefully the safety safari is there and they're dousing it with their chemical too. So it's just a, it's, it's not gonna last forever. You know, 20 pounds is gonna play out pretty quick. If you know where your fire bottle handle is at and you're comfortable with it and it's been serviced and it's, e and it's lubed up and it's easy to use, you're already 10 steps ahead of everybody else. If you got a fresh air system in the car and you're using it, you're a hundred steps ahead of everybody else, okay? Doesn't matter whether you've got a top sportsman car or a super fast bracket car, doesn't matter. These things can happen. A, a fuel line can get cut, a fitting can break, something can happen and you're on fire. And if you're out on the racetrack, you're out there by yourself, safety safari is coming at you, but there's a time where you're on your own and you have to save your ass. Don't jack around with it, okay? If it needs to be moved, move it. But sit in there and try to figure out where, where it's at and, and hook it and see how, how much leverage you would have to pull it, okay? Figure out what is easiest for you. And another thing, this little safety pin that comes with it, damn, make sure this is not in there when you're on the racetrack. We see this all the time. We see them clipped, pinned, zip tied, duct taped, everything, so that guys don't accidentally hit them when they're working in the pits. That's fine, that's what this is for. This goes in here. We use a little quarter inch um, pin in this handle, okay? We're gonna pin that in and then we have a little lanyard on it and then when you take it out, it loops up and it slides right over the handle here. So when I'm at the track and any of our customers are up on the starting line, I look in their car and I make sure that that pin is looped over this handle. Because if it's not, I'll open their door and do it for them because you cannot leave the starting line with the fire bottle handle pinned in place. All right, you can now, much, much less trying to find the damn handle in the first place. So now you found it and it's got this pin in it. So now you think you're gonna pull this pin out and actuate this while you're sliding on your roof on fire? I don't think so. So anyway, we got some time, got a little bit of extra break here. I know everybody wants to be at the racetrack, but can't do that right now. So go out there and look at your car. It's a race car. There's always something broke on the sun, bitch. So go out there and look at it and figure out what needs to be fixed. Check this fire bottle handle out, see where it's at and see how easy it is for you to get to. Check it out. If you need some help, give us a call. We've got components if you want to change it. We got tabs, we got cables, we got all the shit. If you want to use one of these handles, we got carbon, we got aluminum, we got every kind of handle you can imagine. We got all the brackets that goes with these to mount it. They're super easy to mount. We take this handle off here, put a rod end on it, hook it right here, and you're good to go. So whatever you want, if you need help, call us. We'll go through it with you. Be careful, be safe. Take this time, use it to your advantage. See you later.